In this video, and the next two, we're going to use the marks our brushes make, plus some other marks, to make simple but effective paintings. First, mix some yellow, and use your thumb to make a thumbprint. This will be the body of our bumblebee. Now we'll make a smaller thumbprint for the thorax, and a littler one for the head. Next, we'll use ultramarine blue and either burnt sienna or burnt umber to mix a dark gray. Press down with the tip of the brush to make an eye, and then press again right next to it to make a second one. Drop a little color along the back of the thorax, and then make some stripes on the abdomen. If the paint is still wet, this will work well. The stripes will appear a little bit fuzzy. Now with a paler gray, press to make one of the wings, and then press again next to it to make the other wing. In this case, I've got a little bit of extra water there, so I'll blot my brush and use it to soak up the extra paint and leave the wings a light gray. Now I'm going to use a rigger and my dark gray made from ultramarine blue and burnt sienna or burnt umber to make little bee legs. Now again, using my finger this time, I'm going to roll and rotate my wrist to make the center of my cone flower. Now I'm mixing a pale reddish purple using cobalt blue and quinacridone rose. I'll use the press, drag, and lift motion we learned in the last video to make petals. Now you have the idea, so we'll speed it up and finish the flower. Next, I'm mixing green with yellow, ultramarine blue, and a little bit of burnt sienna to gray it down. And I make my stem. Again with green, I'm going to use a press, rotate my wrist, and lift motion to make leaves. Press, rotate my wrist, and lift. Since my leaves are a bit pale, I'm going back over the same area now that it's dry, but notice I left a little strip down the center, unpainted, to suggest the vein in the leaf. Remember, you can download photos of the finished exercises from our class page on the Dragonfly Spirit Studio website.